Hello, YouTube. How are y'all doing out there today? I uh, haven't made one in a while, so this is my fall 2022 pocket dump video, late fall. So these are the items that I've been carrying with me every day, everywhere I go. Uh, pretty basic setup, but I believe it covers all the fundamentals. Starting on the left, we have a mini BIC, obvious purpose and use. Uh, never leave home without the ability to start a fire, which mankind has had now for tens of thousands of years. After that, we got a tube of chapstick, which is obviously great for your lips, but it's also an excellent accelerant for starting that fire. It is a highly capable gun grease. Uh, keep your firearms lubricated. And finally, it's really good for packing your wounds. You know, small wounds, whatever. Keep the dirt out. Keep them from getting infected. You never know. I'm sure it has other uses, and if you could think of any good ones, feel free to put a comment in the uh, comment section below. Next to that, we have an Eagle Tac flashlight. It's 600 lumens with a single 14500 uh, lithium ion cell. Very good flashlight. I had uh, put this away for a while. I was carrying Trustfire L2 which is slightly bigger and significantly more uh, powerful and brighter, but I lost it hunting. So I had to break the old Eagle Tack back out, and it's a great flashlight. I used to carry this every day when I lived in Hawaii. I've been on top of Mauna Kea at 14, 000, almost 14,000 foot elevation in frigid cold, down in the jungles of Hilo, out on the lava fields of uh, Kona, you know, up in the uh, tropical rainforests, up in Waimea. You know, I've been, and darn it, Big Island Hawaii has almost every climate on earth, and I've been in all of them, and this was my companion all the time. So this is a great flashlight, very well proven. I've even stood submerged in the Pacific Ocean for an hour at a time with this in my pocket, and uh, no problem. So if you need a really good flashlight for around 50 bucks, Eagle Tac D25A. I don't know what I said earlier, but it is a D25A. Really good flashlight. Above that, we have a Spartan Systems Utila Clip, uh, left hand inside the waistband holster. It's got a carbon fiber pattern. I don't know if it really is carbon fiber. It's very light. It's a very good holster. I've had no problems with it. I've been using that for about, I don't know, six, eight weeks now. I really like it. I really like the Utila Clip. That is a great product. Next to that, we have my carbon fiber Ridgeline wallet. It's a good everyday wallet, lightweight, compact, very uh, slim line. It fits right in the pocket. It's unobtrusive. And as Paul Harrell demonstrated in the video some time ago, it will actually stop a 9mm bullet. So not a bad thing to have, I guess. Next to that, we have our reloads, uh, two 12-round magazines and a chamber round, 25 rounds total of Underwood XTP Plus P for our everyday carry handgun, which is a Ruger LCP Max. This handgun has been upgraded. As you can see, I have the uh, Galloway, Pre Galloway Precision Sigur Trigger in it, which I will be doing a video on. Stainless trigger pins, got a 13-pound recoil spring. Uh, beef, and I also have uh, the M Carbo heavy duty carbon steel takedown pin in it, which you can't see on the side, it's on the other side. But uh, as you can see, looking at it, it has a lot of battle wear on that finish. I carry this sucker every day, and uh, Ruger, for whatever reason, likes their good old fashioned blue finishes, and that, that has been worn off quite a bit. But this is a great pistol, and I'm very, very happy with it. It's got a few warts. It's got, you know, issues, but they're, most of them are easily corrected. The main issue was the magazine popping out. So if you look at that closely, I actually shaved that down with a Dremel. So it doesn't protrude as much, and it pretty much eliminated that problem for me. Over here, we have a basic uh, lock pick kit concealed in this little credit card right here. Uh, I used to carry one of these all the time when I was a private investigator and repossessor. But, uh, and then I didn't carry one for a long time. But my godson bought me this, so, you know, I've been carrying it. It's uh, super slim. It's right in my Ridge wallet. Very handy. If you ever need to get into a lock, you know, great. Lock yourself out. 
you know, so handy item. Uh, down here, I've highlighted this before. This is a one of those little steel wallet tool cards. Uh, it's got sharp edge. It's got a measuring device, straight edges, all kinds of little wrenches and stuff for, uh, you know, little sockets and what have you. And I've actually used it a couple times. It does work. It's a neat little item. It weighs nothing. It's very slim and unobtrusive. Fits right in my wallet. So there's no reason not to carry that guy. And then finally, we have our Spider Co. Endora 4. Uh, VG10 steel blade. Very good knife. Uh, they're about 100 bucks new, roughly, give or take. Uh, I've been carrying this one every day for at least a year. It's got some wear on it. As you can see, I actually bought it on eBay used. Uh, no reason not to go with the, uh, used high quality knife like this. I mean, they basically are going to last you a lifetime. So save yourself a few bucks, but really good knife. I carry it with me everywhere I go every day, along with all these other items, you know, uh, you're prepared for most basic emergency situations with what you see here on the table. Uh, the whole kit all together weighs probably two and a half pounds, very light, very easy to conceal, and a lot of very helpful items. So this is my late fall 2022 pocket dump. I hope you're all having a good day out there, YouTube. Freedom by me out.